Bose was kind enough to sponsor this video and I partnered up with them to review some of their most exciting new audio products. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Bose SoundTouch 10 wireless music system. If you love listening to music at home but hate dealing with messy wires, this could be for you. The Bose SoundTouch 10 wireless music system comes in a black or white finish and it's currently the smallest speaker out of the entire SoundTouch family. It has one goal in mind and that's for you to easily stream music in your home without taking up a lot of space. The SoundTouch 10 wireless music system does not have a built-in battery. Instead, it's built to be used inside your home on an existing Wi-Fi network or with Bluetooth devices such as your smartphone, tablet, or computer. However, it still provides an aux port if you want to use it with a wired connection. Now, since this is the smallest SoundTouch speaker, it can be placed just about anywhere in your home, especially due to the fact that it comes with an included remote, which is really convenient. But don't be deceived by its small footprint. It has some kick to it. Now, I'm not an audiophile by any means, but I've used and reviewed enough speakers to notice good quality audio when I hear it. And the SoundTouch 10 provides a really nice, fulfilling sound for most indoor rooms. It's clear and rich, and similar to my experience with the SoundLink Color, the loudness from such a small speaker is pretty astonishing. I'm actually a little hesitant to push the volume level past 50% because I don't want to disturb my neighbors. You know, Danny Brown at 9 a.m. is not for everybody. It may be a little bit overwhelming for some people, especially if coming from this SoundTouch 10. But what's really cool about this speaker is it not only plays audio over Bluetooth from any app on your phone or your tablet or computer, it actually connects to your Wi-Fi network and can play music via the free SoundTouch controller app that's available for iOS, Android, Mac, and Windows. I'm usually not a fan of proprietary apps and I can understand why some people wouldn't want to sign up for another online account and agree to another company's privacy policy, but you can still use this speaker without doing that. If you just want to use the Bluetooth and the aux port, then you don't have to sign up for an account or even download the app. It's not required, but if you don't mind signing up for a free Bose account with your email address, then you can take advantage of the Wi-Fi playback and the presets because that's where the speaker really shines. With the SoundTouch controller app, you can connect the SoundTouch 10 system to your Wi-Fi in a few simple steps. Once it's connected, you can connect your favorite music services such as Spotify, Pandora, Amazon Music, and a few other options, even your own music library. But the best feature about connecting music services to the SoundTouch controller app is the ability to use presets. You can assign up to six presets with things like a certain Pandora station or a certain Spotify artist, album, or playlist. Basically, the SoundTouch app makes it super easy to instantly play your favorite music with just a touch of a button. So really, the SoundTouch 10 wireless music system is perfect for people who are just starting out to turn their home into a wireless music streaming zone. And once you have the SoundTouch 10 wireless music system set up in your home, it's very easy to add other products from the SoundTouch family, such as larger speakers or home theater systems, which I'll also be reviewing if you're interested. I would definitely recommend the SoundTouch 10 wireless music system under these conditions. If you already have a Wi-Fi network and at least one Bluetooth device, and you want an attractive small wireless speaker that can easily be moved within your home, but you don't necessarily need a portable speaker to take outside of your home. You got that? Okay, cool. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. My name is Andy, and I will talk to you in the next video.